But nonetheless, we have some snow out there right now and then the potential for something bigger down the line as we get towards this weekend. More on both of that in a second. First, though, we're talking about it being cold with those bursts of snow. Here's a live look in Roanoke with our Carillion Sky Cam. Nothing going on in the Star City right now, and that's the case throughout most of the area. Remember, we were talking yesterday that we would see these bursts of snow, but they wouldn't be that widespread. Good morning in Newport getting on the school bus this morning. Temperatures hanging out in the low 30s with those snow showers around. So do keep that in mind. Notice again, few and far between a couple of areas we are watching in parts of central Virginia, the Mountain Empire, the 77 corridor. We are watching some of those snow showers the line in Giles County, Craig County. We're seeing some of that snow working its way through there. Simmonsville. We still we will likely see that burst of snow come through in the next 15 minutes or snow for us. A natural bridge. We're taking a break right now, but more of those bursts going to work their way through. So if you're traveling through parts of uh, Botetourt County into Allegheny County, keep in mind you're traveling 81 likely we'll see reduced visibility as a result of these. We're calling them bursts of snow, but now not everybody's seeing them. Not going to put down a lot of accumulation. Could put down a quick dusting though, reducing visibility as well. Keep that in mind. There's three, four o'clock. Most of that coming to an end, but mainly west of 81. There could be a few stray flakes out there. Not really going to add to any of the issues that we are seeing. We're really going to calm things down though once we get into this evening and then Thursday, Friday. Then things could pick back up again. Here is our system getting closer and closer. The center still way out to sea, but really starting to see the first impact to see the green there. This is the water vapor imagery. You can see the motions of the atmosphere, the moisture in the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere, and we're starting to see that really start to impact California. Now, once we get deeper into the weekend, Sunday into Monday, that's when we could start to see impacts, and it looks like throughout much of western North Carolina, northern South Carolina, Georgia, into southwest Virginia. That's where the most significant impacts from this system could reside. If there are changes in this bubble here in terms of the impact bubble, if you will, it would work off further south. I really don't see this. The main impacts west of here. It's either going to be directly overhead or south and east, so we're at least able to narrow that down for you. Snow showers early and then the winds are going to crank out later this afternoon. We are chilly highs in the upper 30s tonight. We are cold overnight lows in the mid 20s, but those snow showers going to come to an end. Quieting down still cool Thursday and Friday. Quiet on Saturday too if you have plans to go do some Christmas shopping. And then once we get into Sunday, that's where we are watching guys. It looks like at the very least we'll see a little bit of snow with this, but uh, there's the potential for a whole lot more if again that storm track holds and starts to ride the east coast of the U.S. guys. Not good news for folks who have Christmas parties yeah. or plans for a lot of these outdoor events, parades, things like that that are going on this week. But weekend. you're giving us plenty of notice. Yeah, so so keep that in mind. Go to the store now. I, I stocked up I, on. I, I don't think there's, I don't think it's panic time. No, just yet. but yeah. I needed to to milk store. and bread anyway, today. so I went ahead and got that yeah. and didn't wait till the weekend. Yeah, I wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't rush out just just yet.